Good evening, everybody. We are still in HTML level two. Uh, the last time we did with part four, which is forms and uh, basics. This time around, we are now in part four, forms and label, and we'll be dealing with the use of label tag that will allow us to add labels in front of our input in our HTML forms. We'll also be exploring how to activate action on clicking submit that means when we submit our form where is it going so without wasting our of our time let's dive in so this is let's open our Visual studio code this is where we stop in our last class you see inputs i mean our type is test here then value full name this is this is full name then input type email that we said that Something is needed there that is art. I mean, art without that, it won't work. So let's dive in for today's class. Today's lesson. Now we see this value now. We will not be using value. Let's just place order. Something we call place order. Let's cut here. Let's come here. Place order. Then what do we do? Our of the full name that means instead of value full name if you like you can click the value let's leave it like this then if you say you can see here now that it's even lighter than this one then let's do it to others also here let's me cut it i cut it then i come here place order then i copy that's email let's come here to let's let's cut then what do we do? Place order. Place order. Let's paste. Then here, what do we do? We copy. I mean, we cut. Then after cutting, what do we do? We have place order. Then we paste. We see that now. Then we leave our summit like our summit like that. Then let's see where we see. What do we see? This is something like that. Can we see now? Now, if you now on like that one, you press now. Then I know, sorry, I know person, you can see, automatically this thing will disappear, but you can see it, the thing will come back, unlike the other one, now, this one also, then, as you can see, it's too close, you see, oh, this thing is, we just add another BR, add another BR, come here, add another BR, and come here, add another BR, then you see, and you see now, you see now, this is what we are talking about. Is it working? Of course, it's working. Now, here, there is something I want to show us. Let's see, action. Action. That is where our form may be. Oh, we want to. Where we of Let's say, what do I have here? Okay. Let me see, you see this one now. I don't know. Are they on the same, the same folder? On the same folder we have i have forms here okay i have table let me use table for instance table now i put table here table dot ac okay table dot html let me then i save i save now let me see this one now i not to see i not to see then I know to see 100 at gmail.com then password then what do we have a phone number phone number then upon summary, look at it. You know, this is my the table.com. This is my table.com. Okay, let me okay, okay, let me just click send. Can you see? It, it, it will take me to here. Yeah. So that's me. I mean, where is it? It will take me here. This 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 table.html. So let me come back. This action this table.html which is this one it 
big meeting. Now, let me use, I think we have two types of table now. This one is table one, and this is where this is the table one. So the assignments I gave us the other time. This is table one, for instance. Head this table one. So if I put instead of table now, let me add one. Table one. Then upon clicking, let me come here now, for instance. Okay. okay. Let me let me come back to form. From there, I see. I I open my live server. Then, if I click again, can you see now? It will bring me here. That is what we are talking about. I want to believe it's working. Is it working? 